What's going on guys? Derek here from Wilson Audio Labs. Today we're going to look at a Jensen amplifier. 600 watt peak! If you guys remember, Ron over at Budget Gym Budget Bus tested the dual amp. This is actually the sister, or the newer version of that amplifier. Pretty much the same features all the way around. It says 600 watts on the outside. Not really sure why, because that's not true. But this one does have a digital signal processor, and it's bridgeable. And it has a Bluetooth module, but we'll get to that here shortly. Here on one side of the amp, it just has the line ins, the line outs, a high level input, a reset button. And then it also has the Bluetooth module, which is behind that black little uh, window there. On the opposite side, we have four gauge for power and ground, a power protection LED, remote connection, 25 amp fuse, and then the speaker outputs now what's interesting about this amplifier these are four gauge that's right four gauge with a 25 amp fuse that's kind of funny ryan mentioned in his video as well speaker outputs are via 12 gauge you can see the size of it compared to my hand my hand pretty much swallows up this amplifier it's tiny as far as features go in addition to what the dual amp offered before this one comes with a bluetooth module which is controlled via an app that you get on your iphone or your android phone it has RGB custom color illumination, and all the other stuff, again, is pretty much the same, but it does have a built-in EQ that's adjustable via the application. We'll get to the application later, so make sure you stick around for that, and I'll kind of go through some of the options. Next up, of course, we're going to fire up the good old amp dyno, try this amp out, and see how it performs. Before we do that, make sure you check out the links in the video description, get some Willison Audio merch, leave me a thumbs up, ya yeah boy! All right, first up, we're going to do the stereo test. We'll do both 2 and 4 ohms. We have both channels on the dyno loaded up. It's rated 80 watts RMS by two channels. And I blew up the screen here so you guys could see it better. And here we go. It's counting up certified test. 87 watts, 1% THD. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, boy. Just as the dual amp before performed well, this Jensen version appears to be, again virtually the same amplifier with some additional features so we we're gonna see it do rated power plus more here again uncertified test up to clipping 91 watts per channel at 14.3 92 jumped a little bit there 14.36 up to the clipping point again the tests here are 40 hertz so that's really good next up we're going to try the dynamic burst at 4 ohms, this is the stereo run, rated 80 watts. Go and check that out. 93 and 92 watts. Can we get any more? Nope, that's it, at 14.35. As far as efficiency goes, we measured about 79% efficiency. Next up, we're going to try the 2 ohm run. Again, we have the amp wired in stereo. It's rated 120 watts, RMS by 2 channels at 2 ohms. Here we go, got the screen blown up so you can see it better. Certified test. Oh yes, 130 and 133, 14.38. All right, next up we will change the mode to the uncertified test, which takes us up to the clipping point. And again, I've blown the screen up there so you guys can see it better. We're expecting to get a little bit more than we got last time. A little bit of 130. There we go. Check it out. Keeps climbing. 139 per channel at 14.14. That's good numbers for an amp rate of 120 watts. You know what? Getting a little bit more than you pay for. It's always a good thing. Dynamic power. Check this out. Right at 150 watts per channel. <laughs> That's good power for this little amp rated 120 by 2. Very nice, this will be a uh, nice power in a small subwoofer or something. As far as efficiency goes, we measured about 68%, so right at 70%, the two ohm test. Now we're gonna bridge the amplifier mono, the left positive channel, the right negative channel is how you bridge this amp. And I got an image here showing it, and it's rated 240 watts times one channel at four ohm bridged. That's what we're going to try. Of course, we're going to use the 40 hertz test because if you're going to bridge the amp, most likely you're going to use it on a subwoofer. Here we go, 263 watts, 14.32. It's not unusual to be mad. 
That's what we like to see. That rated power plus a little bit more. That's all we need to make us happy. Next up, we'll try uncertified run. Takes us up to the clipping point. What can we get? Oh, yes. 284. 14.18. Let's change the mode once again to the dynamic burst mode. Sending a pulse tone into the amplifier. Simulating music playback. Check this out. Over 300 watts. 303 in the hizzy. 14.24. That's what I'm talking about. As far as efficiency goes, we measured 74% efficient. 4 ohms bridge mono. Alright, next up we're going to check out and see what this app is all about. Yeah, and get your old DSP on is what I'm talking about. Go to the app store. Just do a search for Jensen DSP. This will come up. You can download this on your iOS or Android device. Here's what it looks like on the iPhone. And let's go ahead and touch that. And we'll get into the app. It first off gives you a warning. You have to tell it you're a passenger. And then it will connect via Bluetooth, as long as your Bluetooth is on, to the device very quickly, actually. Now, the gain control is at the top called the master level control. And this is a little confusing because I'm going to show you something else that's also called a gain in addition to that, if you go to the bottom, you can click on the X over for the crossover and you can set low pass, full range, high pass, the slope. And it's really cool because you can actually dial in the exact frequency that you want, which is not always easy to do on an amplifier because you're kind of guessing based on the potentiometer. There's a bass boost at the bottom. There's also a little mute there. And if you switch it over to high pass, you can do the same kind of changes that you did you know, dial in your exact frequency, use the slider, use the plus or minus. Very cool. The gain control here, best I can determine, is kind of for your bass boost. That's what that's designed for. That's not the gain of the amp, which is a little confusing. There is a slope also that you can change the slope. At the bottom, you can touch the EQ button, and you can do what everybody should do, is use the V pattern for maximum sound quality. Also touch the RGB, and you can get in... And you can make some changes to the color of the amp. I'm going to show you here a visual. You can change it from blue to green to pink to purple, whatever tickles your fancy. And then there's also some EQ presets to change. Have fun with that as well. All right, next up, we'll take the four screws out of the bottom of the amp and show you what the inside looks like. So enjoy the visuals. Listen to the cool music. All right, next up, we're going to talk about the good things and bad things of the amp. First up, the good stuff. It's rated accurately, has RCA inputs and outputs, as well as high-level inputs. Four gauge with a 25-amp fuse. Yeah, that's overkill, but we're not going to say it's bad. Has a lot of options via app, RGB LEDs, crossover, 5-band EQ, compact size, and a budget price. What could be better? Why does it say 600 watts on the amp? you got to be kidding me. You can't Bluetooth stream? Only thing the Bluetooth is used for is for the app for adjusting the features. You must set it up via app. And speaking of that, it will not work with your grandma's jitterbug phone because that don't have Bluetooth. You big dummy. All right, guys, there you have the video of the Jensen XDA92RB that we tested here at Wilson Audio Labs. Amplifier performed well, just like the previous amp, the dual amplifier that this one replaces. Currently, this one's $59 on Walmart, which is amazing. Super great deal. Make sure you check out the links in the video description. Pick one of these up if you'd like. Big shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much. Special thanks, Stuart, Travis, Jesus, Tomcat, Big D. I'm out of here. So I mentioned that last video, and we recently hit that milestone of 200,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I greatly appreciate it. I wanted to leave you with this cool video clip of cooking some marshmallows. This has been a tough year. Take a break sometime. Have fun.
Big D, I'll talk to you soon.